Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, let's continue in my Korea campaign with the next mission. Our magnificent and victorious troops have penetrated several miles into enemy territory. However, the enemy's foolish and fanatical resistance has stalled the operation. Comrade, a swift attack is required on the miserable enemy armor in order to get our courageous troops moving again. So it's basically some close air support or the cap mission. We have to help our forward units to get or to proceed further. So let's continue in this mission. I can see there are two target waypoints. Both of them we are required to attack some armored vehicles so we can expect maybe some tanks some apcs and uh, some air defenses as well like m163 and so on let's check the payload for this mission okay i will definitely change it that's that's correct And we are done, so let's take off. That hind on the left side is flying very low. I was afraid he will collide into the trees. Yesterday I had pretty successful mission with outstanding results, so it was great. I love the allied forces here, near the base, such such many armored columns, such strong force, it's amazing to fly over them and to see a lot of friendly units. As you can see we are flying in a three ship formation towards the south to attack some targets in the South Korea during the Korean War in 50s it was like 48 to 53 or something like that hints weren't a part of this war because it was a North Korea didn't use maybe any or maybe only M4 helicopters from that age. There was no Heinz in that year or years in that war. It was the last war where the propeller fighters met and fought against each other. It was Wak Yak 9 on one side, on North Korean side, and uh, the P 51 Mustang. It was redesignated to F 51 Mustang in this war. So they were used on the. someone's firing from the left side. APC. So we are in a target area, so let's use oh, that's a pretty intensive fire. It's 
amazing when you are in the middle of enemy units. And the silicon operator is blocking you the bridges. It was probably a big mistake to fly here like, like no enemies around me. It was brave, but not very clever. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> What's going on here? Come on. Are you crazy? I'm expecting that I will be shot down any second. Okay, mission accomplished, that's great. Great news. I am pretty much out of any shells. I will use my remaining rockets. area around this city looks clear already. Let's shoot these static targets.
becomes much easier to use this unguided rockets in Apache Simulator. Okay, let's fly home. No point to be here any longer. As you can see, they are still firing at me a lot. Or maybe still no damage taken, like no, no significant or no, no major system damage taken, so I'm gonna land somewhere. And maybe return and to clear this area. Okay, so this is basically our units. I will land near that road. So these are basically our units penetrating the enemy lines, enemy area, and we are required to support them, so I'm definitely going back to help them. Still plenty of enemy targets there. This landing. <laughs> it's always difficult. Very nice and smooth landing. So let's wait for the weapon reload. And now we can head back to the hostile area.
static target, so I try to hit him with rockets. Maybe I'm not talking as much in now, but I'm just trying to be focused on a, on a, on a, <laughs> on a gameplay. Sorry for that. Very primitive kind of aiming this game. Okay, 700 rounds in my my turret gun. So when I use them all, I'm gonna head back to base. Oh no, I'm 60s into tank. Pretty much this is total destruction of enemies, total mayhem on the ground, so let's fly home. Okay, I think we did a, a much or enough work here, or more than enough even. So let's head back to base. There is no doubt this mission will be also outstanding like yesterday, so it's pretty nice. It 
was no no enemy like no air threat here in this area so basically i it will be better if i didn't didn't take the r60s with me and took some 86 instead of them or even the unguided 80 millimeter rockets it's always better to target moving target with a turret gun it's more precise it's less you it takes you less time to to target the any, any target but 80 mm rockets are more effective against any kind of target especially buildings but we have to fire it very precise exactly on the target so that's why you can't destroy any moving target in a greater distances because it's moving and oh that's the base and your weapon operator still still locks the target where is the base where is the base drum somewhere behind me right yeah So, the mission is over. It's a pretty interesting mission. Just by the quantity of the enemies in the area. So I got a little bit surprised. Just by the numbers of them. But hey, we did it. I'm not sure about my wingmans because there is no like well, only one one mi24 hind in the base oh, are there two two of them okay so basically all three of the hinds helicopter return back and i think this is a nice place for a landing because the car is waiting here so driver so let's land near to him yes mission outstanding so outstanding number of enemy targets destroyed 16 tanks that's really high number and we lost 110 so this is a big big stroke for our forces okay so let's save the progress uh, thank you for watching guys watching this video with me thank you for all your comments I really appreciate them trying to answer to them as early as possible so thank you that you write me any any hints anything about for example you wrote me about uh, medals in f22 lightning video so appreciate that and uh, looking forward to make you more fun more enjoyment so as always have fun take care bye